Hello once again. Okay, so this game, I gotta say, is probably one of my better games. And it involves some crazy moves. And you know, I think I'm starting to develop my own style now. Like I said, I've only been playing for three weeks. And I'm thinking if you catch your opponent and you do something really surprising, they will just not know how to react. And you kind of make them do what you want. Okay, so let me... Go ahead and get into the game. You can see what I mean. So I'm playing black. He starts off with d4. And I respond with d6. Um, my plan here is just to kind of build up my pawn structure and kind of counter what he's doing. He brings his pawn to f4. I attack his pawn. He decides not to defend, so I decide to bring up my pawn. Now, he has a couple options here. That he decides to just move up. Now, people, I've seen a lot of people, all they do is usually just move up their pawn. And then, in, in, like, in the mid-game, all you have is a bunch of pawns all zigzagging. And it looks retarded, and it's it's really annoying. So I don't recommend doing that. To me, it's like, if you're going to, you might as well just take a gambit for that. Anyway. So I decided to just move up in this little unprotected spot. You know, your knights in the middle are the best. He moves his queen here. I'm not sure why. I don't know, just to get his... Get it in the game, I guess. Decide to threaten his queen. Make it move. He does this. And now here's where I see something very interesting. And you're about to see something really, really risky and I would never recommend doing. It's this move right here. Now, naturally you're thinking, well, all, you know, all he has to do is just, you know, move up his pawn and he should be all right. Well, let's see. Okay, all right. So, in this position, what would you say black would, was best move would be? Maybe, you know, he could move his knight. You know, but I decide to take the pawn. It looks crazy, I know. And, of course, you know, the first thing he thinks is, Oh, shit, free queen, let me go get it. And then I respond with this putting a fork in between his king and his rook. Now, you may be thinking, well, you traded a rook for a queen, but I'm about to show you something even more deadly. Okay? So he moves his king. I move my bishop. Now threatening both rooks, forcing him to block and put up a piece. Hopefully, he was going to put up his knight, which he does. Now when I take the rook, he takes a pawn. I decide to castle. He moves up his knight, attacking my bishop. That's fine. I move it out of the way. He moves his bishop, trying to attack my knight. I fork the bishop in the pawn. He takes. Now I check him, forcing him to move his bishop so he can attack the pawn back. All right. I take the pawn. He moves up. Now... Here's where the game gets pretty interesting. I move my pawn up. You know, most people, they probably wouldn't see this. They're like, oh, an unprotected pawn. But he does see this. Very happy they did. All right, so he moves. And now, I decide to threaten the queen even more. Get to move one more time. And here's where I do something even very interesting. Now, I'm going to really knock around this king to be exactly where I wanted it to be. Okay, so now this king, he has a few moves, I guess. But he doesn't really want to move in certain spots. Like, if he were to move to his right, it would be pretty much game over. Um, okay. So he moves to the left. I decide to pin down the knight. But then he takes with his other knight. So I take with my rook. He decides to... Now, I didn't think that maybe this would work out. But, see, I see what he's trying to do right now. He's trying to attack my pawn on f5. That way he would fork my um, king and my pawn. But, you know, I decide, hey, you know what? I'm going to do something even more deadly. And I didn't want to move my knight to protect it because it would be kind of wasted. So I decided to just let it happen. I decided to move my bishop. Putting him in the corner right where I want him to be. Now, this is where the game gets intense. After he f 
first I want to get my uh, my knight um, kind of in the game. So that's what he decides to do. Forks. And, you know, I think I've... Okay, okay, okay. So anyway, I move. And then when he takes, this is where it's pretty much game over. Can you see a move that would make it game over? Well, first, I have to move his, uh, his queen. He takes my knight. And this is where it's over. What move do you think would do that? Check. Move. Checkmate. Thank you.